everyone. Um, today I am going to show you how to get the enamel off of a hippo tooth. Now on the uh, Facebook page, Knife Handle Material and How To Do, there was some discussion on the best method to uh, remove the enamel. Now when you get a big curved tooth like this, you've got the enamel, you can see the enamel, the white enamel here, and some on the outside, but you can see it's split and they are clean spots. Now these clean spots are what you see on the straight tooth. Now a straight hippo tooth works really well for knife handles, so you can just grind that as is. However, if you try and grind the enamel on this, it'll kill your belts and it murders angle grinding discs. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to remove the enamel with uh, minimal fuss. Now you can see I've removed the enamel on this hippo tooth now. Now this was one I used a proper blowtorch on rather than the hobby torch we use today. So it did scar, it did burn it a little bit, but um, I'm going to show you um, how to get it all clean and ready to use. So what I've got here is a hobby torch, a hippo tooth, and my bucket of water next to me. The reason I have the bucket of water is because while the flames help pop the enamel off, we don't want the hippo tooth to get too hot, especially a hippo tooth that has this little fold in the middle. When it gets too hot, that will crack. So to avoid it cracking, we're going to heat it. We only want the outside hot, we don't want the whole thing hot. So we just heat it a little bit, that pops off, and we just dip it in the water, and that cools it off. Alright, so let's get going. And it's a simple thing. I'm going to start, whoa. Okay, I'm going to start on the end here. Amen. There we go. Okay. Here we go. And off comes the enamel. Before we get carried away, don't forget to put it in the water. Notice I'm keeping it angled away from me. Don't get carried away. It just lifts off. I've just saved myself a hell of a lot of grinding trying to make it all pretty and clean. Okay. Okay, so that's the one part. I'm going to do the other part here. I would recommend using uh, glasses because this stuff is hot and it's popping everywhere. Don't worry about the tooth turning black. You're going to grind most of that away anyway when you make your knife handle. Okay, now I'm going to do the outside. There's a big white streak here. Now watch how nice this lifts off.
all I'm going to do for that. Now the reason why I didn't do it all is because I've got to cut that off here because there's a very deep cavity in there and I can't use most of this. So there you go. There's a clean hippo tooth. Well, relatively clean. There are a few cracks in it from the heat, but we'll fill that up with super glue and some grinding powder from the from grinding the hippo and you won't notice it really. See there you go, the piece is just in chip off. Alright, there you go. That's how you clean the enamel of a hippo tooth.